Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are companies required to have workers' compensation insurance? Let's talk safety nets. Workers' comp is like a trampoline for the workplace. It's there to catch employees if they take a tumble while on the job. Now, you might wonder, is every company holding this safety net? Think of workers' comp as a mandatory hug from your employer. It's there to embrace you financially if you get hurt at work. But is this hug required by law for every company? The plot thickens across the 50 states. Each state has its own rules for this insurance game. It's like a patchwork quilt, with every square having a different pattern. For some businesses, it's welcome to the club. They must have workers' comp. It's non-negotiable. For others, it's more like a VIP list. Small companies, for instance, might not need to roll out the red carpet for workers' comp. Let's not forget the freelancers and independent contractors. They're like solo artists, often outside the workers' comp band. But some states might still ask them to play a tune or two. So is it a universal yes or no? Not quite. It's more like a depends on where you are and who you're with. Workers' comp requirements change with the state lines. It's a geographical game of tag, and the rules are ever-changing. To be sure, check your local workers' comp laws. They'll tell you if your employer should be holding that safety net or not. And remember, staying informed is how you win the game of employment monopoly. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.